Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Love by Chetan Asnuria. So guys, finally the Galaxy S9 launched in India yesterday with a price tag that is lower than what was expected. The Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus will cost you Rs 57,900 and 64,900 respectively for the 64GB model, which is similar to the last year's prices and that is a great news. Even though the device has launched yesterday in India, you could have pre-ordered your Galaxy S9 on 25th February. And that is exactly what I did. And I should be receiving my Galaxy S9 Plus really soon. That takes me to the release date. The Galaxy S9 will start reaching consumers by 16th March. And I just can't wait for it. It seems so far away right now and I'm really excited for my S9 Plus. So let's talk about the Galaxy S9 for a second. The Galaxy S9 does not seem like a huge jump from the Galaxy S8 and the Galaxy S8 users might be condemning Samsung right now. But I upgrading from the Galaxy S6 Edge should feel a huge upgrade. I mean just look at that beautiful infinity display. Samsung makes the best display, period. But I just can't shake the feeling that Samsung could have done better. Nevertheless, the device is great. I have spent around 20 minutes with it. It was amazing. And the fingerprint sensor now feels at the right position, even though I have small hands. Maybe that is why some early users have commented that the Galaxy S9's fingerprint sensor has lower placement for optimal usage. Having spent some time with Cora Blue, I must say the Cora Blue color is amazing. The color seems very light in pictures, but in reality, it is much darker and looks very cool. So if you don't want to go with the comfortable choice of the Midnight Black, I would highly suggest you check out the Coral Blue. Guys, I might have a bad news for you. As we cannot confirm right now, but it seems that the Exynos 9810, the Mighty Beast, is clocked much lower than we were expecting. It seems like the Exynos 9810 in the Galaxy S9 is going as high as 1.8 GHz and no further. That might hinder the performance. The weird thing is the Galaxy S9 was launched almost two weeks ago. So many people and YouTubers have received it and are using it. But still, we only have one benchmark score, that too of single core performance. I mean, come on. And talking about the bad news, for Indians, there are no pre-ordering bundle with the Galaxy S9. There is just a 6000 rupees cashback if you pay via a credit card or a debit card something. I read about a guy in Turkey who mistakenly received his device early and to his surprise, the pre-ordering bundle contained a Galaxy Gear Sport. I just wish India had a pre-ordering bundle as well. So guys, that is it for today. Let me know down in the comments, have you booked a Galaxy S9 or the S9 Plus and does your country have a pre-ordering bundle? I hope you like this video and for upcoming content, please subscribe to this channel and do follow me on Instagram as well. This is Chitanesh Nuria, signing off.